Hey guys, what's going on? So today I got an update on the 1996 Chevy Lumina. We are getting this thing ready for round number two. And uh, this video might even come out after round number two, just because of the fact of the way this thing's starting to bend. And I don't want to show that before. Uh, that way, anybody who watches uh, my videos that may be in that heat may know my weaknesses here. But uh, even though it's still gonna be a very strong car, it's just, uh, I don't know how it's gonna bend, so we'll see. But let's go ahead and start with the, uh, the basically the most important thing here, and that was this side suspension. Uh, the tie rod obviously was bent, and the, and the strut, which is sitting right over here, <laughs> and it, it's twisted, so that actually isn't the way it was bent, but it, uh, it sure was um, pretty bad. Uh, and now that frame, or now we got lots of um, clearance between the uh, frame rail and that uh, and that strut there and I actually put 15 inch rims on this thing can I get a clap from everybody because uh, I this is the first time I've ran 15s on Illumina I believe um, because I didn't have 15s and I found this set of 15s on an Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme up at the junkyard and that's also the car I got that strut from and I also grabbed this strut too just because I'm starting to get low on uh, parts here for W bodies so I said because I've been just uh, using them up and not saving them like an idiot. So uh, we're piling up on them. But uh, I put this rim on there. That all turned out good. This side, obviously, it it didn't get hurt. Um, I can't believe it with how much... I mean, you guys can see how, how mashed in that fender is and how mashed in my door is here. He, I mean, he was just smoking me in that uh, James um, Diggup was uh, just smoking me in this uh left front and it didn't bend the luminous suspension at all not even a little bit so uh very proud of that uh suspension there i mean that well, i shouldn't say proud but more impressed more than anything because it was uh certainly certainly uh pretty tough in the back here this is taking quite a bit of work but not too much actually easier than i thought but you guys will see we've actually pulled the trunk lid out from uh, we were gonna try to tuck it into the trunk but unfortunately that's just not the way uh, it ended up going because this side right here was just so mashed in it's just no way we we're gonna tuck it in so we said one of two options cut it off or fold it all the way out and try to pull it under and that's the second option I just don't want to lose any strength with this trunk and uh, I think I made the right decision here because I think this trunk still has a lot of uh, life left in it and um, and the trunk lid should be able to offer some some hits anyway um, so what we did was we unchained it pulled it up and out and then back down and we ended up pulling this quarter out push this down under it and put the quarter back over the trunk lid so hopefully this trunk lid can't pop back up theoretically uh, it won't pop back at an upward angle this this middle part here might pop up a little bit but we're gonna do a lot with nine wire we're gonna take two strands of nine wire and we're gonna tie it to these frame rails I'm gonna make them as tight as I can to try to get that thing to suck down in um, and hopefully I'll be able to tie it to where this existing frame rail is right here and yeah the nine wire probably won't last too long but hey you know it's uh it, it only has to last a few hits because once that starts to tuck down in that should be nice and solid um, after I get that tucked down with the nine wire and get it nice and tight I'm gonna beat down this trunk lid and make sure that it's not gonna actually slide up on me so I'm not gonna see the inside of the trunk lid and hopefully that will work hopefully I don't regret not just cutting this trunk off to begin with and as you guys saw in the uh, if you guys watched the aftermath video I ended up breaking my shifter um, in the pit area after the derby because I tried climbing in my in my clumsy butt uh, ended up hitting the shifter with my knee when I was climbing in and uh, sure enough I broke the button right off of the shifter so I went up to the junkyard and found a Buick Riviera and I happen to have the same shifter. So, well, not the same shifter, but this is actually the same ones that come out of the uh, uh, 
early 90s Buicks. You guys will notice, or if you guys uh, watched my 94 Buick from last year, that's the same style shifter. And I actually pretty, I, I like that shifter uh, better than the one that was in here. And the best thing is, I rigged, I kind of rigged up this shifter to where I can shift from drive to park, or sorry, from drive to reverse and reverse the drive without hitting the button. So, and the only gears I um, have to worry about hitting the button is if I go down to low gear or if I go into park, which is fine with me. So that's great news. Um, other than that, inside the car, really nothing is going to change. Uh, I don't think anything really else happened in there. Up front, I got that uh, air neck from the junkyard, uh, and I made sure to tighten that thing nice and tight. Um, and it is actually from a newer style, uh, like I think it's a Grand Am. Uh, same exact thing, basically. Same sensor. In the back here, this is from my 98 Chevy Lumina. So that's all the same. Uh, and the wiring's now, now pretty loose under there, so hopefully uh, that shouldn't put too much stress on it. Got the uh, screws nice and tight, and maybe I'll even tighten them a little bit more. Um, and that should be ready to go. And she's about ready to roll. But there is a problem, and that's the reason why I don't want to post this video before the derby. This frame rail here is bent, and pretty bad actually and I did not realize it and I realized that actually I did realize it at the pit area but I didn't discuss it out in the aftermath video because I knew that I wanted to share this guy with you guys after the second run but if you guys look right there this frame is all twisted out in the back here um, and that's why the strut tower is all kinked and stuff, I think. And that's also why the firewall bent right here. Because I think that the, uh, well, it all pushed back and the strut tower actually pushed a little bit over and in a little bit. And I think also him wailing me in this fender probably didn't help the strut tower, but um, I think that's majority of the damage on this uh, right there. Other than that, the frame is completely straight uh, all the way up until just before the crush box uh, and no I'm not pulling that back out just because I know it could offer me one or two hits of extra crush but the problem is is that I'm afraid if you try to pull that out I may end up ripping the crush box right off and the crush box uh, I, I'd really prefer to stay on there um, because it's the only thing holding my bumper on other than this 9 gauge wire and it's really solid down in there so hopefully um, and I just realized that that thing's getting pretty close to my radiator. This, the crush box actually pushed through my core support down at the bottom there. Huh, that's interesting. You know, it should be okay, I think. Um, it can't go in much further, and my radiator can be pushed backwards, so it actually looks like it's going to miss it, so that's good news. <laughs> but anyway, I don't want to pull that out just because I don't want to mess anything up it's already nice and packed in there pretty tight so I don't want to do anything with it and this side obviously it's at an angle so hopefully I can try to uh, favor this side at least a little bit more that way I can get this to push in hopefully and not kink it back there but hopefully push the crush box in that way we can have a nice flat uh, hitting surface here that or I'm just going to end up being in the bumper, but it is what it is. Uh, that's the way sometimes it goes. But uh, I think uh, I'm just going to focus on using that back end. The back end is bending pretty bad, um, uh, at least up here. Uh, back there, bent perfect, but it's kinked up at the, and you guys can see it in the aftermath and, the, uh, and in the grandstand footage, uh, that this whole thing is starting to bend. It's kinked here, and it's kinked down. So it's starting to push down here, starting to push up here. So it's gonna go like, the roof is gonna go like, probably like this, and the whole pillar is gonna get sucked under, and it's gonna push all this in, I think. I don't know if that's exactly how it's gonna go. Hopefully this chain, and which is already super, super tight, I can just barely move it here. Um, 
hopefully that chain can keep this together at least for a long time I just hope it doesn't break the chain I don't know how much force is going to get on there but um, that's actually one of the reasons why I did put that there in the first place and you guys can see that this side isn't nearly as bent and hopefully won't start to bend too quickly but you guys can see it is starting to kink you see where that paint is missing there and it's starting to kink at that t uh, at that right there I don't know if it started to kink here yet though no it looks pretty straight so we'll see but the speaker deck is starting to push in over there it's actually not ripped out the seal yet it's just starting to bend the metal around the seal um, so it's kind of interesting how it's starting to bend but we'll see what happens I think she's still gonna be a real stiff back end I'm gonna try to use it as much as I can honestly I'd like to see this back end all the way up and up till about there or you know just before my gas tank before I start using this front end as long as that trunk lid doesn't screw me over again um, but this thing is running at the Itsego County Fair uh, since this is already going to be after the Derby that that I, this video gets posted uh, probably be posted either the day of the Derby like the night of or the day after the Derby and then you guys will see the Derby after this video but uh, hopefully she holds up well uh, hopefully we have a little bit better luck this time around um, I think we still got a great car here uh, and it's very much similar to how the Lumina, the, the other Lumina, the 98 Lumina was when it was going into its second derby. It really is very similar. Um, maybe a little bit more hurt, but um, I think it's still got a darn good chance of doing very well. As long as I don't take too many Camry set on. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. So, stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.